Hey, 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 hi everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'll be showing you on how to connect Tiltify to Vineyard so that way you can be able to make your charity streams a lot more interactive. Now, of course, your imagination is the limit, so I will, of course, be showing at least an example of what you can do with the Tiltify. But again, uh, depending on what you're trying to do, if you need some further assistance with your specific case, remember that I did link super Drill's Discord server in the description below, so make sure you join that for further uh, specific help. And if by any chance you need me to help you for some reason, you can of course tag me in the server um, if needed, but even then, I don't know everything, just want to make sure that's clarified. But either way though, uh, in order for us to get started with Tiltify, what you're going to do is on the top left right here, there should be a... Uh, Tiltify login. So right here. For my case, it's set to dis uh, disconnect Tiltify, but make sure you click on that and you log in via the browser. You click on the authorize button, which I'm already authorized, so it's all good. So you click on that. And then once you're done with that, you're going to then go into menu right here. And then you're going to go into your settings. And then you're going to go all the way down to the Tiltify button right here. And then here you'll be able to select your campaign. Now do keep in mind uh, that you'll have to choose one campaign at a time. So keep that in mind. You can't be able to like select 500 uh, campaigns at once. So just choose the one that you're active on. And then of course if you want to switch in between different campaigns. And of course you can switch it in here. So just keep that in mind. But Otherwise, I'm going to choose Gamers Outreach for the VTuber SummerSlam event because that's pretty much why I'm making this tutorial to begin with. So you sl select your campaign of choice and then what you're going to do is you're going to go up uh, to the node graphs right here. And we're going to make a new uh, example node graph, uh, but again, really up to you on what you want to do. And you're going to add a new graph right here. And then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to go ahead and rename this. Um, I'm going to actually rename this one to, let's say, Tiltify here, and then click on the Rename button. So that way the graph, or the, the node graph here, is named to Tiltify. And then what we're going to do is on Search Nodes, we're going to type in Tiltify, like so. And then right here, we can pretty much do about whatever we want. Uh, it's, again really just up to you so let's say for example we want it where for every donation that we get we want it where it throws confetti you know to celebrate so what we're going to do is we're going to find confetti here in the action nodes right here and i'm going to add that and you can have it let's see if this will work yep um so you can be able to have it where confetti where for every donation you get you have confetti now what about Maybe we want it where props are thrown at our character, but we want it where depending on the, um, let's say for example, for $5, five trucks are thrown at us. Or if we have a $100 donation, then 100 cactus um, will be thrown at us. So there's a way we can do that. So what you're going to do is on search nodes, you're going to type in uh, throw item here. Add that, and there's this big uh, little node here, very big, a lot of stuff. And then here, we can go ahead and connect these two together like so. And what we're going to do in order for, you know, based on the amount that we can set it where again, five dollars, five props, hundred dollar, hundred props. Uh, you're gonna type in decimal. And then make sure that the values and operations at the bottom here is enabled. Because if it's disabled, you won't be able to see the node that I'm talking about. There should be one that says decimal to number right here. This is the one that we want. And we're going to connect the amount here to the number right here, amount to throw. And of course, you can be able to set your stuff here, um, you know, set up all your other settings. I can make it where an apple's thrown at me, and I can right-click and send signal just to test. Ooh. And it should be able to work. Ugh. 
There you go. So, you could do stuff like that. What you could also do as well, uh, a little silly thing, is you can make um, your character dance or something like that. So, animation. Play animation. If you have an animation or something like that, um, we can add it here. Let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, just, just as an example, um... Let's say California Girls or something like that. Um, right click and then California Girls because you donated, um, you donated the freaking thing. Of course, though, you're gonna have to, you know, for something like a dance animation that loops the entire time, you're probably gonna have to utilize a wait note. So let me just quickly show you that example. So wait, um, whoops, I misspelled wait, wait, um. Let's see here. Yeah, so connect these two right here. Whoops. Connect. There you go. And then stop animation. Please, for the love of God, stop this. I don't want to keep dancing with California girls. I'll set this to 1,000 for one... Uh, actually, no. Set it to 5,000 for five seconds. And then... Um, can I... Quickly, yeah, let's just see. There you go. Yep, and then five seconds later, the animation should stop. There you go. So, yeah, uh, this is just an example of what you can do where if somebody donates, you can make a dance or confetti or you can make it where it throws a prop at a specific value. Again, your imagination's a limit, though, but of course, depending on your case, there may be some uh, other stuff there may be some extra stuff that you may have to do that may be a bit complicated, but hopefully this shows you at least the basics on how to get Tiltify working, especially for the VTuber Summer VTuber Summer VTuber Summer Slam event. I am so sorry for butchering that. I am sorry, but either way though, I do hope that you have a lovely day though. And with that being said though. Uh, have a good one, and again, join through the Discord server in the description below for further help. Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise, though, just your support means so much to me, and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way, though, with that being said, though, hey, 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 goodbye, bye, everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye, bye.